Hi guys, welcome back to Tati XO. Thank you for visiting my channel. Today I'm really excited because I finally got in the post of my brand new eyeshadow palette. And this one is from Juvia's Place and I've wanted to try this brand for so long. Um, so whilst it was on half price on Beauty Bay, I paid £15 for this. I got the mini masquerade palette. Um, it was a tough call between this one and a few of the other ones on offer, but I found that I was driven more to the amazing colours that you have in this palette. Keep an eye out for any sort of uh, voucher codes or discounts because Beauty Bay have some really good ones. And like I said, I paid £15 for this and I got free shipping as well, which is amazing. And it was track shipping as well, so really nice and secure. So today's video is basically just doing a few swatches so that you can see exactly um, what the colour looks like and see how pigmented it is. I'm actually, I, I couldn't wear it, I'm sorry, but I'm actually wearing um, a few of these shadows on my eyes today. I was just messing about and made a quick video, um, so you might have seen me upload that earlier on. Um, but I just wanted to basically have a dedicated video just for the swatches. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and if you've got any suggestions or anything else you want to see, then leave it in the comments box down below. So I'm just going to roll up my sleeves um, and I'm just going to go um, across each row. Um, I think I'm going to start with this bottom row. So I love also as well how the, if you can see it with the lighting, it's actually got the name of each shadow. Um, I really like that. Obviously, it's cardboard packaging, there's no mirror, but I often use a lot of ones from like a blusher or a, a, another palette as well, so I'm not really bothered about um, there being no mirror. Um, nice and slim as well. So I'm going to go with Dahia. I'm probably really mispronouncing all of these, but let's go. Um, I'll just do a few smidges, and I'm just going to start near my wrist. Oh, wow. Those are actually really pigmented that's really nice a lovely sort of light gold tone with um a few orange tones in there as well next one is zulu and i'm a huge fan of these sort of ready brown colors so let's go for that one piece of magic that one is zulu does look really nice next one along is casablanca um again i really like these sort of beautiful gold bronzy sparkly colours and I, I I use a lot of the ones um, in the Morphe Day Slayer and um, the Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay. Wow. I'm actually finding that the shimmery tones are actually um, sort of more opaque looking than the matte shades which has shocked me really but um, that looks really nice. Uh, obviously, um, if you want a more sort of intense look, you can just um, wet your brush with a setting spray if you um, really want a really nice intense eyeshadow look. Final one on that bottom row is called Fellaini or Fellani, not the footballer. Um, it's just like a lovely sort of chocolate brown tone. So that is this one here. And I'm going to go up to the second to bottom row and I'm going to start with Ada. This reminds me of some of the um, Makeup Geek pans that I have. That looks really nice. I'd probably need a few more smidges to build up that um, opacity uh, for the shade. I'm just going to wash my hand um, and I'll be back in a second uh, to continue with the shades. Okay, so I've washed my hands. Let's continue with the next shade, which is this absolutely gorgeous shimmery orange colour, uh, which is called Cairo. Looks really nice and actually quite pigmented as well. Next one along is Burkina. It's a beautiful brown chocolatey tone. Very cool. Um, and then this beautiful sort of shimmery highlight shade called Giza. Ooh. 
Wow. Oh my gosh, that looks so nice. That's just going to be perfect for highlighting your inner corners and your brow arch. Next row above, getting a bit more playful with the colours now. I'm going to start with Bori again. Really sorry if I'm mispronouncing these colours. Wow, look at that. That's actually what I have on my eyes at the minute, but I didn't put loads on and I really blended it out. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. If you're a fan of really bright festival type colours, then this palette is going to be amazing for you. And you know, this is just the mini palette. If you use a lot of bright shades and invest in the, um, the bigger palette, I don't think it's too much more expensive. Next one along is Calabar, which is absolutely gorgeous, a shimmery purple tone. Oh, wow. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Then Zobo, which I have on today as well. That looks really nice. Just dry my hands a, a little bit. Then onto Makita, which is this beautiful purple color hair. It just looks amazing. Oh my gosh. For 15 pounds as well. What do you want? Top row. This beautiful Zola colour, uh, which is a beautiful shimmery aquamarine blue. Oh, I mean, I hope this camera is showing just how intense and beautifully pigmented these colours are. I'm, I'm so impressed and I cannot wait to get playing about with all these different colours. Uh, next one along is a little bit deeper, a bit more... Uh, bluey rather than greeny, um, just this gorgeous Dahlia shade. Oh my gosh, I love it, I'm in love. Next one along is Marley, which is this gorgeous green colour and I'm a huge fan of eyeshadow where you've got your beautiful sort of orange and brown tones and it sort of blends into um, like a sparkly green and a hint of black, it looks really nice. looks gorgeous and then the final color um again it's it's a the darkest blue that they have and it's called chi and i'm just gonna do a swatch of that one i cannot believe it so <laughs> this arm has all of those shadows i'm really really impressed by how pigmented they are. As I've said, your shimmer tones are actually more opaque than the matte shades, um, but obviously with matte shades, you can just build it up and add more layers. I'm just so impressed, especially with um, that beautiful shimmer shade, which is called Giza, that gorgeous pink color called Bori. Um, and I'm really liking this purple color called Makeda, but, <laughs> They're all just really, really beautiful. Here's a close-up look. Which one of these is your favourite? I would love for you to get in touch. Have you guys tried any of the Juvia's Place palettes? Have you tried this palette? Would love to hear from you. I will be writing a blog post about this as well, so stay tuned on my blog, which is www.tatiexl.com, um, and hopefully I'll be able to share a little bit more with you about how wearable these colours are, if it stays on my eyes, um, things like that. And like I said, if you've got any suggestions, anything that you want to see, then make sure you get in touch. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I uh, really appreciate it. And like I said, I'm going to be trying to get more videos very soon. And I'm hopefully, um, you know, obviously going to improve um, the more that I do this as well. And I'm hopefully going to get some more lenses. So you should be able to see an improvement in, in the quality um, of the videos as well. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.